In a land far, far away, there was a monster living in the middle of the desert. Moreover, he was only fed with fresh soil, newly greened plants, and seeds. A little far from the desert, there was a kingdom he had not yet discovered and had not gone and eaten its soil. The king and the queen of this kingdom did not have children, and they were very sad because of this. When the queen couldn't sleep one night, she sneaked out of the palace. She wandered around the desert. Although the desert monster noticed her, he did not go near her and did not harm her, because all he wanted was to eat all the plants and fresh soil in the world. At that moment, a star fell in the sky and left a green trail behind it. Seeing the falling star, the queen immediately made a wish. Oh, I wish I had a daughter so I could hug her and raise her with love. At that moment, a star fairy appeared in front of the queen. Oh, you! You are a fairy! I cannot believe my eyes! Yes, dear queen, I heard your wish and came to your presence. If you want to have a child, wander through this desert for seven days and nights. The magic of the stars will surprise you. The queen did indeed wander through the desert for seven days and nights, listening to the words of the star fairy. The king, on the other hand, thought that the queen, who had not returned to the palace for days, was lost, and he was devastated. At the end of her seventh day in the desert, just as she was in despair, the queen heard a cry. The queen moved toward the direction the voice came from. She saw a tiny baby crying on the sand. She immediately took her in her arms and returned to the palace. The king was very happy when he saw the queen safe and sound days later. And the cute baby she was carrying in her arms increased his happiness even more. They named that little baby the Earth Princess. Years passed. The Earth Princess grew up and became a very beautiful girl. Her favorite thing since she was a baby was playing with sand. If she drew a butterfly in the sand, the butterflies turned into reality and flew around her. Or if she drew a flower, it turned into a real flower and smelled amazing. The only person who realized that the Earth Princess had a magical power was her father, the king. But he didn't tell anyone about her power so that no harm would come to her. One day, when the people were planting new crops, the nose of the desert monster caught a sharp smell. He soon realized it was the smell of fresh soil. When he thought of the delicious saplings and seeds he would eat, he could not resist and quickly started to move towards the direction of the smell. Meanwhile, the people in the kingdom noticed that the ground was starting to shake. Oh, what's going on? Is this an earthquake? This, this, this is something else? Noticing the ground shaking, the king and the queen also rushed out of the palace balcony and saw the desert monster far away under the ground moving towards the kingdom. Oh no! I thought he was a myth! This is very bad! The myth is becoming true! The king immediately ordered his soldiers to stop the desert monster. The soldiers took cover at the gates of the kingdom. But the desert monster was so big and scary that many of the soldiers thought they could not defeat him. When the desert monster approached to the kingdom, he caught the soldiers one by one and threw them in the desert. No! Help! Help! No! My soldiers! Our land! Seeing this, the people stopped cultivating the land and began to flee to save their lives. 
The monster continued to eat every sapling, every fresh greenery he saw. While the people did not know what to do out of sadness and fear, the king came out of his palace with all his might. The Earth Princess followed him too. My princess, my beautiful daughter, stay in the palace with your mother. I don't want him to hurt you. No, Daddy. You know I can beat him. I can save our kingdom, our land. The king did not want his only daughter, the Earth Princess, to come face to face with the desert monster. So he left her behind, took up his sword, and rushed towards the monster that was eating the fertile land. He tried to stop him, but failed. Just as the desert monster was about to grab the king and throw him into the desert, the Earth Princess could not stand it any longer and drew a shield on the sand. The shield has been magically made real. The Earth Princess protected herself with that shield and ran towards the desert monster. Even though the desert monster threw sand at the princess, he couldn't stop her. The Earth Princess immediately bent down and drew a large bucket in the sand. The bucket was made real. With her magical power, the princess lifted this bucket and threw it at the desert monster. The bucket got on the desert monster's head and got stuck there. Thus, the monster could not see ahead and he could no longer eat the fertile land. At that time, the Earth Princess gathered all her attention and created a desert tornado to drive the monster away from the kingdom. This tornado was so big and strong that it engulfed the monster in an instant and carried him far from the kingdom. The people who watched what was happening were both in great astonishment and happiness. The Earth Princess was exhausted from the magic she used. Father King immediately ran to her and hugged her. You saved our lives, our land, our kingdom! Long live Earth Princess! From that day on, the Earth Princess protected all the lands of the kingdom with her courage forever. Because without soil, there would be no life, and the Earth Princess knew it best. Are these their bubbles?